Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason and in today's video we will be doing another unboxing. Today's unboxing will be of a Korean Japanese beauty subscription box. So if that's something that you're interested in, then keep watching. All right, hello everybody. As I said in the um, little teaser, today is going to be an unboxing, another unboxing video. And today's unboxing is going to be of the Japanese Korean No Make No Life NMNL uh, beauty subscription box. This happens to be the November box. Um, so I got it a little bit early and I am going to refrain from this, from giving my opinion of this box. This is not a blind unboxing. I did already open the box. Um, I received it this morning and I'm usually like a little kid. I can't wait to unbox, you know, for the videos. So I, I usually peek before. So I know what's in the box, um, but like I said, I'm not gonna say anything until after the unboxing. But before we do that, I would also like to um, do a little tiny um, eyeshadow palette haul that I got from um, Hot Topic. So um, I got a little crazy and bought a few eyeshadow palettes, um, kind of Halloween themed, which is kind of silly because I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow right now. so. The fact that I bought three palettes and I've already got a couple from some of the subscription uh, boxes that I have, but they hooked me in with the themes of the eyeshadow palettes. So um, before we get into the unboxing, I'd like to go ahead and, and um, talk about those first. All three of these palettes were from Hot Topic. Um, I think, yeah, I do actually have prices of them. So they were on sale. They were all the same price. They ended up being um, $13.52 each. So let's go ahead and do the first one. The first one isn't necessarily a Halloween themed. Um, it is a theme. It's di one of their Disney themes. And this is one of the Disney films that I absolutely have loved forever. Um, I even actually have a tattoo um, based on this Disney animated film. So it's one of their classics. This happens to be from Pinocchio. So this is the palette. Let's see here. And sorry about my ring light there. There we go. That's a little bit better. And in this palette, let's see, one, two, three, four. It looks like there's, tw yeah. It tells me right up there, it tells me 12, and I had to count them. Anyway, <laughs> there's 12 shades in this one. So you open it up and the mirror does run the length of the palette. So, um, let's see here, the, the clear plastic thing that they put on to protect it is glued on for the moment, so hopefully you won't get too much of a glare now. This is the palette. I have to say that I really was not very impressed with the color story that I saw in this. Um, I was expecting with an animated Disney film for it to be a little more varied and as I looked at the colors, um, knowing what I know about the film and what they titled these colors threw me off a little bit. And I actually am left wondering, um, it, it, it is official Disney because on the back here it does have the Disney um, trademark. So Disney did approve it. And I honestly don't know how because they've got some of the names mixed up. So we'll see. But anyway, this is, um, I don't know if it's uh, vegan, but it is cruelty free. So um, 
I'm not really gonna swatch these particular colors, um, but I was curious. I'm, I think I'll swatch one of the other ones. Um, but some of the colors in this one are, and if you're familiar with the movie Pinocchio at all, you'll know what I mean. Figaro. Now, if I remember correctly, Figaro is the cat, the black and white cat. The color Figaro in here is this red-orange color. And they've got Cleo, and if I remember correctly, Cleo is the goldfish. And on here, Cleo is like a black charcoal color. Jimny. Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket was green. It's this gold color here. So that's what I was really referring to when I said I don't understand how they came up with the names for the colors that they did. Um, their fairy dust here is kind of just a brown so, without having actually swatched any of them to see how well they swatch, um, you know, how they go on the skin, I can't really judge it based on that, but I'm kind of disappointed in the colors and what they called the colors. So, this kind of was a womp womp for me. Anyway, it was $13, so... The other two are a little bit more fun, and they're actually a little bit more Halloween horror themed. So, um, I will start with this one. This, I, I couldn't resist. I'm not a huge fan of this movie. I love the movie, but I'm not like a fanatic like where I have to go out and buy everything related with this movie. It just was interesting enough, the fact that they made an eyeshadow palette based on this movie that I had to get it. So, Chucky, Child's Play. This is their, and again, this is a another 12 eyeshadow palette. Um, when you open this up, I'm a little bit more impressed with the color combination they have in here. It's a little bit more varied than the Pinocchio was. Um, without trying to get too much shine in here. If you see here, they've got a nice little mirror on this side, which is kind of a cool little shape, like the the front of the um, box that Chucky came in. So um, let me go ahead and take this plastic off. They've just taped theirs on. And let me show the... So here is the color scheme of this one. I do really like the blue here at the bottom. They've got more of a variety here than they did in the Pinocchio. So again, I haven't swatched these, um, but I, I like the colors. There's a few shimmers in here. It looks like there's one, two, three, maybe four shimmers. And it looks like the rest may be mattes. But let me go ahead and do a couple of the I'm gonna do one, two shimmers. I'm gonna do Killer Doll and Andy, which are two shimmers. And that is, let's see if I can, I need like a third hand. <laughs> so Killer Doll and Andy are the two shimmers. And let's see what they end up looking like on Mm. I don't know. Let's see here. My light is way too high, so let me try to turn that down just a little bit for you. There, it's a little bit better there. So you can see the Andy and the Killer Doll. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's a little, it, it came off a little dusty, so. 
but I'm not terribly surprised being that it's it's a hot topic eyeshadow palette. So those are fun colors. Let's see what, what uh, I, I really like that blue at the bottom. That looks like a matte, but that deep blue. It is called Ugly Doll. And let's see what that one looks like. Mm. So it's this one up here. So the colors aren't horrible, but I can see how it wouldn't be somebody's go-to palette. But for Halloween, it may be fun. Um, even if just to say that, you know, your your eye look is done from a child's play palette, so. Um, so there's that, there's the child's play there. I was a little bit happier with this one than I was the Pinocchio, so. And the last one, I know this video is getting a little bit long, sorry about that, I promised that the unboxing portion will not take that long because, well, you'll see. So let's just clean my fingers so I'm not... All right, and the third eyeshadow palette is Beetlejuice. So this was kind of another fun one. And again, this is another movie that I really enjoy. Um, I, again, I'm not a fanatic where in, in, in the terms that I will go out and buy everything associated with Beetlejuice. Um, I actually do work on Broadway. So um, I was, for those of you that didn't know, Beetlejuice the musical was a show on Broadway um, a little bit before the shutdown happened. Um, it had already closed, but it was on Broadway for a little bit. And um, unfortunately, I didn't get to see it, but uh, hopefully it was filmed and maybe I'll be able to see it on like Broadway HD or something. So this is, um, this actually has 14 eyeshadows. Oh, it's, it, let me take that back. It's got um, 12 eyeshadows and two highlighters so again it's got a nice big mirror and let me pull the plastic off this one too this one is um taped on okay i'm gonna have to do a little editing here because i am being a little slow with taking this these little pieces of tape, my goodness. This is ridiculous. I don't want to get out my <laughs> get out my my knife to cut these little pieces of tape off, but <laughs> that's what it's gonna have to be. There we go. Ooh, and I just kind of went into one of the colors there. Got a little too excited. Oh, oh well. It's not like it's a designer. So let me just kind of try to rub that in. You'll see where I, Ooh, that's a nice color though. So this is the color combo on this and I just happened to damage this one here. I kind of stuck my knife in the corner, oh well. But I like the colors in this one too, so. Um, since I already stuck my finger in that Say It Once color, which was the purple. Uh, let's see how that looks. It's kind of going on the same as the um, Chucky one did, so. Let's look at the, that was the Say It Once. Let's look at the Say It Twice. Ooh, I like this. The Say It Twice is fun. Oh, I like that one a lot, actually. And that one went on much easier. That's a shimmer. So the Say It Once and the Say It Twice, the Say It Twice went on much creamier or smoother. Or... So looks like some of these are gonna be good. Um, but then they've got the two, the two larger 
cans on the side here are they going to be the highlighters. So I may try to do a look with this one or the Chucky one or maybe both. Maybe maybe I'll do one eye with one palette and the other eye with the other palette. Who knows? Um, I am not going anywhere for Halloween this year because, well, like everybody else, we're still in the pandemic and a lot of us are still stuck at home, not working, going to school from home. So no Halloween for me this year. That's okay. Um, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll try these looks out and then I will film them and you guys will have a good laugh um, for another makeup application video that I attempt out of these two eyeshadow palettes. So, all right. Enough talking about those. Um, I think of all three, I'm probably going to enjoy the Beetlejuice one the most. Um, let me put this knife to the side, my big old dagger to the side, and let's get into the No Make No Life box. Again, this is November's box. I did already get, I got, actually I got the October box in September. So, but uh, when you open the box, it looks like this inside. You usually get around eight items in these boxes and it always comes with a booklet. So here's the booklet for this month inside the booklet. They've got pages, advertisements and products and all that. But on, if you look into the center of the booklet, it gives you all the items um, that they've included and it gives a little description about them. It doesn't give prices though, so, um, and I will put in the description box below how much this subscription box is, but I'll, I can't remember off the top of my head because I, what I did with this is I bought six months worth of subscription boxes, um, not knowing. Um, I'd heard good, good things about Korean, um, skin uh, beauty products and so I just took a chance and bought six prepaid boxes of this so this is my third box um, and I've got three more to go and I'll let you know what's gonna happen once we do the unboxing first item in here is its skin macaron lip balm so that is this little guy here but um, it looks like I'm probably have the pineapple one um, I don't see it on the box but it's yellow so I'm gonna assume it's pineapple let me see if it has a scent yeah it does have a scent. it's, it's pineapple I, I can smell it so it does smell good Carmex or chapstick or any of those. Let's see. That's cute. It's like in a little macaron thing. Um, doesn't have a flavor, so not many of them that I've tried do, um, but it does smell good. So anyway, there's that. The next thing is um, Skins Bonnie, Skins Bonnie Yogurt Wash Off Mud Pack. Skins Bonnie Yogurt Wash Off Mud Pack. Let's see here. All right. It comes in this plastic. The back is flat so that you can tear off things. So I got the pore cleansing one. Um, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of masks that I have to wash off. So I may try it, um, but Eh, there's that. So that's item number two. And then we have Skins, another Skins Bonnie product. This is Skins Bonnie Yogurt Mask Pack. So let's see where this is. Skins Bonnie Yogurt Mask. It's this right here. So these feel like sheet masks, which I actually prefer a little bit 
better than the um, peel off masks. So um, let's see here, is this coming? Yeah, this is a peel off and yeah. So I'm more excited about trying this than I am the charcoal one, but I'll give them both a try at some point. Item three, item four is Shobi uh, Sloan Fruits Cheek Color Palette. And that is here. And Gidge, um, it's like a little book, like a little cookbook. So let's see here, and if we open it up here, uh, this is what the inside looks like. Um, there's no mirror, so if you're doing it on the go, you're gonna have to have your own mirror, but those are the colors there. And it has the brush on the side here. It's okay, another, eh. <laughs> Can you tell how excited I am about this um, box so far? Number five, Choosy X Milky Lip Pack. Choosy X Milky Lip Pack. That is this one here. And I am not sure what this lip pack is. It's in this little container like this. got a there it goes oh it smells good yeah it's definitely the strawberry one because I can smell the strawberry but it's it's a lip scrub I've actually never tried a lip scrub before so this might be interesting to try I got some of the... there's that moving on is the Peach Leaf Makeup Remover Wipes. So it's this box here of makeup wipes. Um, I don't wanna open it, but I'm sure that it smells like peach. Um, but I've already got an open box of makeup remover wipes, so I don't wanna open this one for it to dry out. Um, and then the last thing is the Vivid Color Nail Stand. Um, oh, actually, oh, I'm going to go back for a second because along with this, uh, this was the milky, the choosy milky scrub, and this is the, um, milky choosy, um, let's see if you can see the back there. <laughs> it's going to be like a pad or something that you end up putting on your lips, so I don't know. Anyway... Moving on, the last product was the Vivid Color Nail Stand. And the box was kind of already opened, but it's this. And I'm really not quite sure how you use this. Um, it looks like you put your fingers in here, but then I'm, I don't know if you put like, um, it's got a, top here so I don't know if you fill it with like a nail polish remover or what but I don't as you can tell I don't really do my nails a lot so that's the last product in the box if you have seen my other NM and NM and L no make no life unboxings you'll know that I wasn't impressed with those either um, in fact the one for October had products in it that I could only describe as products you would get at like a party city or something like that um, actually I threw some of the products out I didn't even save them for giveaways and I'm not gonna save any of these for giveaways um, so I learned my lesson the hard way with this subscription box. I have now gotten three boxes 
and not one of them has really impressed me. So <laughs> I am no longer going to buy six, no matter how much money I'm going to save by pre-ordering um, subscription boxes. At most, I may do like a two or three month subscription if I know more about what kind of products are coming in those subscription boxes. But this one I learned the hard way. And uh, in addition to prepaying for the six boxes, when I had ordered this, um, and I talked about this in one of my other unboxings, it was supposed to be free shipping. And then once I ordered and paid for them, I found out that shipping, they start charging for shipping. They started charging for shipping as of August, um, but they didn't really put it anywhere obvious. I found it through the FAQs later as I was searching for it. And so now I'm actually getting charged another $11 a month in addition to what I already paid for all six boxes for the shipping because it's coming from Japan. So this subscription box for me kind of was a big uh, miss. I have gotten a few cute little things, you know, like little lip products like these where I, I use just because I have them. Um, but there hasn't been anything that I have been impressed with. So unfortunately, sometimes you learn the hard way and I learned the hard way with this one. So if you've had a different experience with uh, No Make No Life with your boxes, great. I'm happy for you. But for me personally, this has been pretty much a waste. So, but it is what it is. I will um, continue to do the <laughs> unboxings of the No Make No Life uh, for the three more that I'm getting once I get them. And maybe, who knows, maybe there'll be some stroke of luck and at least one of the three boxes left will have items in it that um, get me excited. We'll see. Anyway, I have jabbered on for long enough. And if you have stuck with me this far, thank you so much. Um, and... I am hoping to get, um, it's a big, it's kind of the beginning of the month, so I'm going to be getting a lot of subscription boxes this month. So I will be doing a lot more filming. Um, this has been a strange week for me, um, unfortunately. I don't know if, you, if you've seen any of my other videos. In one of my first couple videos, you heard a cat in the background, and you may even have seen her in the background. Um, she was a senior cat. She had gone blind. Um, and unfortunately, last week we had to um, put her to sleep. So it's been an adjustment <laughs> this past week, um, you know, uh, trying to adjust to a more quiet house. Um, my husband, who spent a lot of time taking care of our cat, um, his routine has suddenly changed. Um, we're trying to get our house or an apartment in order. So it, it, there's been a lot of changes. Um, this past week so hopefully things are only gonna go up from here um, and again thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for liking my videos I really do appreciate it I I love doing these videos I'm having much more fun doing these than I ever thought I would um, so I will see you in my next unboxing and it's gonna either be another beauty subscription box I should be getting my eyeshadow beauty box soon um, but I'm also getting um, one of my spiritual boxes, which is going to be Mindful Souls. It'll be my first one for Mindful Souls. So keep an eye out for those. All right. Take care, everybody. Stay happy, uh, happy stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye.